Thank you, Facebook. So, oh my God, look at my wrinkles. Holy smokes. Okay, so I'm looking at my wrinkles. It's cool. What else? Um, good morning, everybody. I've been doing Facebook Lives from LA because the time difference is so weird. And I'm afraid if they won't upload, like I'll be here till forever. And by the time New York gets to watch Coffee Talk, it'll be, you know, noon. So I've just been. Can you guys do me a favor? If you can hear my voice, will you hit love or like on your thing? I'm trying to thank you okay I'm trying to figure out if there's a delay uh, and how long that delay is um, okay what up Jersey BAM 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 uh, okay so let's get started cuz I'm about to get a little crunk up in this mug Okay, bought like bon quay quay. Okay. So, a couple of weeks ago, I did a coffee talk about extending grace. Okay? Yeah, this, this coffee talk is about to be off the hook. <laughs> okay. Yes, there's laundry going, sorry. Okay. So, a couple of weeks ago, I did a coffee talk about extending grace. Remember the girl that I saw in the parking lot? Um, and she came up and apologized for the way things ended and for her part and all of that. And it was like the most sincere, face-to-face, -face, significant, real apology that I didn't even know I was ready to accept until it was standing in my face, okay? If someone would have told me a week before that I was gonna hear an apology from this girl and forgive her, I would have been like, yeah, no, probably not. That's probably not gonna happen. I'm not in a forgiving place. But it was the way she apologized to me. It was the way that she, I felt like she had humbled herself. I felt like she was sincere in her apology. I felt like she had really thought about it um, and meant it. And I was like, I was in a pow uh, power, I'm a can I'm about, let me say, I was in a position to extend grace, so I did. Now, fast forward. Okay, fast forward to yesterday, where somebody else from the same situation thought that perhaps because I had extended grace to this person, that I would expect to extend grace to them. Now listen, grace is not a, um, you know, so, yeah, I'm not like the person who seeks to withhold grace, but there is a difference. This person who hit me yesterday did me so dirty, so dirty, and texted me a, um, I hope enough time has passed that we can move forward I'm sorry what I'm I hope enough time has passed from what I hope enough time has passed since Pearl Harbor I hope enough time has passed since you married Michael I hope enough time has passed since Jesus died on the cross like what what are we talking about here what's the scale um so that we we this ain't France we what? We nothing, okay? Can move forward. Um, what are what are we playing? Red light, green light. What are where are we moving? Well, I don't understand. Where are we moving? No. I stared at the phone like this. Is this real? Is this a real text? Am I being punked? Is Ashton Kutcher punking me right now? Okay. 
Let me explain something to you about sincerity. Let me explain something to you. When someone is sorry, you will feel it in your gut. Your heart will be screaming, extend grace, extend grace. This person deserves it. This person needs it. This is a real apology. They are sorry. Don't let these fools slide across your phone screen talking about, hey, I think enough time has passed since I destroyed your life and slept with your friend and hurt your mama and smacked your baby. Maybe we can move forward. No, no, that's not even an apology, okay? Now, somebody thirsty, somebody very thirsty may have accepted that uh, monstrosity as an apology and been like, oh, I just really need friends and like, I just really want to make things right, okay? So I'm going to be cool with her. No, all of that is a negative here, okay? Absolutely not. She's out of her mind. Why would you? Okay. If we as a society get so far away from the things we were taught as children, don't you remember your mama grabbing you by the shoulder and spinning you around and telling you, uh-uh, look her in the eye and tell her you are sorry. And remember that uncomfortable, I want to die right now, mom. Why are you doing this to me feeling? She was teaching you how to humble yourself. She was teaching you how to look someone in the eye and apologize to them. If you hurt me, and by me, I mean anybody in this coffee, coffee talk community, you need to humble yourself and get uncomfortable because the only way you can grow and the only way you can heal is if you get uncomfortable. So take yourself by the shoulder, spin yourself around like your mama used to do, look them in the eye, get uncomfortable, feel sick about how you treated them and what you did to them so that you can learn from it and you can never do it again. And then tell them, I am sorry for what I did to you and allow them the choice to choose to extend grace, but do not slide across somebody's phone screen talking about, I think enough time has passed since I don't know what, maybe friends has gone off the air or I don't know, the love boat was canceled. And maybe we, because suddenly we're French, can what? Negative, zero, zilch, nada, no. People lost their minds, making me make a stank, ugly face in the morning like this. So, and here's the thing. I understand. I don't love to apologize either. I get it. I get it. You know, if you're running five minutes late and you want to shoot a text to someone like, hey, I'm going to be five minutes late. Um, okay. But if you really hurt somebody, you, there is no way that you can heal for yourself, for them, for the situation, unless you can truly own it, then try to actually fix it in order to move on. But you don't get to take the, you don't get to hurt them 100% and take the 5% apology way out. No. That's not how it works. And if this coffee talk is hard for you, if it seems too harsh for you, then you are probably accepting lame apologies.
in your life. You are probably at a space in your life right now where you know you deserve a better apology, but you're not in a place to fight for the apology. And that's why this feels harsh to you. And what did I say back to her? Nothing. I didn't respond because it did not deserve a response from me. Absolutely not. I don't even know what to make of that text and I won't, I will absolutely not justify it. I am telling you right now, this is how I'm going to end this coffee talk because this is what I'm really wanting to let you know, okay? What I want you to know is you are worthy of hearing that the people or person or whatever who hurt you, you are worthy of feeling like you are worth the effort. See, 50% of the apology is the intent behind it and the other 50% is the intent to do it the right way. You are worth all of that. And I need you to truly understand that. You do not have to accept a 5% apology to make everybody else happy. If they can hurt you at 100, they can apologize to you at 100. I think if somebody really wants you to know that they are sorry, you will feel it. Just like I did when I saw the girl at Whole Foods and she immediately humbled herself, looked, her, looked me in the eye and said, I am so sorry for my contribution in what happened. And, and here's the thing, those of you that are commenting that I should have been the bigger person, I have been the bigger person. I have opened my heart and extended grace. Don't come at me like that. I'm, I, I'm, no. If you hurt me at 100, you apologize at 100. I'm a big girl. Do you know how many times I've had to suck it up, look, spin myself by the shoulder, look people in the eye and be like, I am truly sorry. I feel sick about what I did. I, and I'm, I'm, I will wait until you are ready. That's how you apologize slide into somebody's DMs or their phone screen talking about we, 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 ooh. no, no we, we here, Pepe Le Pew. Okay. You are all worthy of a real, true, sincere apology. Don't accept anything less. Don't accept, I don't care how bad you want to make it right. I don't care how bad you miss them. I don't care how bad you just want it to be over. You get the apology you deserve. You get the apology you deserve. Because I know you, I see you, I'm looking right at you, and I know what you deserve. You wait for it, and you get it right. And until you get it right, you don't think bad thoughts, you don't wish any ill will on anyone, but you protect your peace and keep your personal space clean. And by personal space, I mean the energy that is around you. Protect it. Do not allow people to say uh, hurtful things to you and then their lame attempts to make it right. Do you remember the scene in Sex and the City when Miranda said, Carrie, I tried to tell you five times and Carrie said, you tried to tell me? You tried? You should have tried to tell me every day. Yes. Yes, Carrie. Yes. Okay. Anyway, know what you deserve, because I know what you deserve. And if you need me, you just holler at your girl, okay? All right, I love you guys so much today. Thank you so much for being with me. Don't forget Alabama. I will be do a, a doing a book signing at Barnes & Noble at the Summit on December 17th at 10 a.m. You can bring the whole family. My kids will be there. You can, guys can come see Olivia, Max, and Charlie. Um, December 17th, 10 a.m. at the Summit in Birmingham. I cannot wait to see you all. Um, please share this video. Have a great day. I love you so much. Whoa.